So, uh, another useful lesson I had as a young schoolboy, about nine years old, is I was asked to be the head of the uh, school safety patrol. And I'd ride my bicycle around, testing, just checking on all the sites where the students were there to help the traffic wardens for the crossing for the younger children. So one day, I was walking home, and, and I'd have a badge, you know, talking about my position. I had my badge, and I was walking home. I came to one of the main crossings, and um, the light wa wasn't green, but there was no traffic, so I just walked across. Now, the lady traffic warden who was there said, why did you do that? In your position, you have to set an example. Now, I was quite puzzled. I wasn't sure what that meant. When I got home, I asked my mother, what does it mean to set an example? I gradually learned that it is very important. And the lesson for a teacher who is in a position of authority, looked on by the students as a role model, and when the teacher sets a good example, then trust arises. And that trust makes the whole process of learning much easier. Now, I came to 11 years old. My family moved from a quiet suburb to a big city. And in this big city, we went to a new school, which was entirely different. There was um, children from all different uh, backgrounds and neighbors, some of them coming from very rough neighborhoods. Those are the ones that wore the leather jackets. And, uh, but I had this very good teacher, Mr. Hatch, who was an excellent teacher in terms of the subjects, but also very creative in responding to the non-academic situations that arise when you have a class full of uh, teenagers. Now, there were a lot of incidents, but one stood in mind. And that was, there was a young man in our class, a boy, Harry, very big, but he tended to bully the boys, to bully us. And one day, Mr. Hatch caught him in the act. And he said, Harry, why don't you pick on someone your own size, like me? Do you want to trade punches? So Harry was elated. Here was a chance to punch the teacher. So he winds up and he hits Mr. Hatch on the shoulder. Mr. Hatch doesn't flick, hits Harry with such force that he tumbles over on the floor and is very embarrassed. And Mr. Hatch says to him, now you know what it feels like, Harry. Well, that was a great lesson for him he, he didn't bully anyone again, and later became one of the more popular mo members of our group. Now, that, that response by Mr. Hatch, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not happening again. Um, you know, there were no health and safety rules in that time. But, but the lesson was that if the teacher is fully present, it can see the need and a creative solution can arise. And that's what happens. So you need to be present.